Buckler says, easy, Elliot. I joined your King Transformation program a few weeks ago. Really enjoying the content. Great. I found it's helping me stay on track and more than anything, teaching me how to focus on what's in front of me, bro. That's, if you can just do that, that's very kingly, right? It's about being, right? And when you're being, you can see what's right in front of you. <laughs> I just finished reading Denial of the True Self by Alexander Lowen, which has opened my eyes to many new, uh, many of my own uh, propensities. What other psychotherapists do you recommend reading? Uh, question, I'm the type of person that starts projects with all the enthusiasm in the world and then loses interest and starts something else, uh, never completing anything. Do you have any advice on how to finish projects you start? or how to keep going when things get tough. Well, there are another man of my own heart. I can relate to that, Michael. I can relate to that a lot. And uh, I'll give you a little bit of my experience here in a moment. Um, I don't recommend any other psychotherapists. <laughs> I'm, I'm not into psychotherapy. I'm not into psychoanalysis. I was very fascinated by bioenergetic analysis. So I just read all of Lowen's books. I'm a strength coach by nature and I'm a, I'm religious. <laughs> I've always been. Um, I'm just accepting myself that way more now. And I think a lot of psychotherapy, psychobabble, I think it's bullshit, <laughs> right? We're, it, we're trying to use mechanical, uh, we're trying to use tools to fill the hole that only the creator can fill with most psychotherapy. Um, but because I'm a strength coach and I recognize the body and the body's role in our personality, our character, you know, uh, at least in my own. And I started recognizing other people and, um, I got into Alexander Lowen. I got into Lowen. I got into Lowen. Uh, I wouldn't even bother with Wilhelm Reich, who was Lowen's teacher. Wilhelm Reich has got a whole lot of problems also too. Alexander Lowen, amazing. I like his work. I would say keep reading his work. I would, he's got, I think he's got something like 15 books. The man was prolific. He was a doctor and a lawyer. He is, he writes real well and he's smart. Um, read it with fascination. Read it to just to be fascinated. Don't read it to try to diagnose or fix. <laughs> That's a rabbit hole. Don't try to diagnose yourself or fix yourself. Just read it so that you're, like you said, opened your eyes to many of your propensities. Oh, hmm, that's interesting. Wow, I can see myself. Allow it to help you to open your eyes, but don't allow it to begin to make you judge yourself or others. That's a, that's a, that's a rabbit hole. You don't want to go down that rabbit hole. I'll tell you that right now. Um, and so I'm not interested in any other psychotherapist. There are others who are of the same genre as Lowen, but not nearly as good as Lowen. Like there's Peter Levine. Um, and a few others. Peter v Levine would probably be the only other one worth mentioning. There's uh, Char Chuck Staley. There's a couple others some of which you might find in my reading list, but really, man, if you like, if you enjoy denial, denial of itself, just keep reading loan books, buy every loan book. I got a whole loan library. I threw away so many of my books. I give away and throw away so many books, but I have not even considered giving away my loan books because loan is good. Loan is great. Really enjoy continuing to read it. Now you're a type of person starts projects with enthusiasm and then loses interest. Um, shiny object syndrome. And I, I suffer from it too. I, I totally understand where you're coming from. Shiny object syndrome is number one and having a lot of energy, a lot of vitality. Not everybody can do that. Like you say, you start projects with enthusiasm. There's some people that just cannot start a freaking project. You're starting project after project after project after project. That's a gift. There's something in that. It means that you've got some energy, right? You got some enthusiasm. In Theos, right? God dwells within you. He's giving you some, some might. Uh, but at the same time, it's ungrounded, right? And you, you know that because you're saying that you, you don't complete anything. And so what you, 
what is a gift, your ability to start things with enthusiasm, quickly becomes a curse because now you're starting shit all over the place. You're starting fires, fires all over the place. And I've done that. I know what that's like. And especially when I'm not clear on who I am and what I'm doing in my life. And if I'm not 100% clear on who I am and what I'm doing, then I start all types of stupid projects that, have, that ultimately fizzle out because it's not who I am and it's not where I'm going. It just happened to be something I'm excited about. And here's what I do as an adult now, right? Because I can see myself better. I don't know how old you are, Mike. I'm 41 now, and I've done what you've done enough times to, do, to, to take this bit of advice from me. <laughs> Stop taking action. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? Because we live in a world where everybody's like, take action, take action, take action. And guess what I'm telling you? Stop taking action. Don't take any more action. Just notice. Just notice. Just notice that something's coming up. And if you do start something, start it with a little enthusiasm, but then back off. Because it, maybe it's the energy moving, but it's not the right direction. And sometimes the energy just needs a, move, a, a moment to move. Just let it move a little bit. But then don't start building castles in the sky like, this is it. I'm going to do it. This is the one. This time. Don't, don't do any of that. Just let the energy move for a little bit. What do I mean? Let me give you an example. The energy is moving quite a bit in me. I've got a surge in my life right now. I feel a creative surge moving through me right now. It's coming up. Yesterday, it came to a climax. And I don't know where to put it yet. That's the thing. I feel a surge, but I'm allowing, well, that's my new way is to allow, but I don't know where to put it yet. So I know that it's a creative process, project of self-expression. I know that because that's what I do. It's who I am. So it makes perfect sense. It's going to be something where I'm teaching, speaking, delivering. And so yesterday, I thought it was supposed to be writing. I thought, I think I, maybe I'm supposed to write a new book. <laughs> so I said, okay, fine. I got this. And I'm, I, mind you, I'm starting, I have, I, I'm, I'm starting a lot of different things at once right now, but I'm watching myself. Right. And so yesterday I was like, open up a word document. All right. I'm going to start writing. I start writing and I'm enjoying what I'm writing. And then check it out for some reason. And this never happens. And this is why you got to kind of pay attention. I'm not superstitious, but it gives me pause. I'm writing, I'm writing, I'm writing, right? And I realize, I'm not even naming what I'm writing. I'm just writing because energy is coming out. I need to say something. I need to, it's just in my fingers, right? Because I'm like you. I got a lot of enthusiasm. So I'm putting it out there. And then out of nowhere, the browser on my computer that I'm writing on blinks shut. It just, it just closes. I have no fucking clue why it closed. I had like seven different tabs on it for different things that I've had open for weeks. And I'm writing, I'm writing, bink, it shuts off. Boom. I feel, uh, I, I, I get this sense of frustration. And I'm like, where is it? And then I got to go find it again. The minute I had that sense of frustration, I realized, oh, I'm pushing this. That was a sign. Whether I don't want to be superstitious, whatever, whatever happened, Maybe it was unconscious and I did it myself. I, I deleted it. I closed it. But I realized in that moment, I was like, don't be too attached, E. This is probably not it. This is probably not it. It's okay. You're just having some fun. You're just having some fun. You're just exercising your energy a little bit. Not attached to it. I wake up this morning and I realize I ain't writing no damn book. I'm not ready to write no book. But I'm happy that I exercise my energy a little bit. And today I'm thinking about making new videos and it seems right. And I'm playing, the, I'm, I'm forming it out in my brain. I might even start a new YouTube channel, but I'm not going to do it yet. Because here's the thing. If it comes from God, if it's true, it's going to keep showing up. If it's false, it's going to show up quickly. And like, you're going to try to make it happen. It shows up quickly. If you become inflamed and you try to do something with it, um, you could keep it going for a little bit, but if it's fake, it's going to fizzle. And a lot of what the work that you're doing, a lot of things you're doing, is it's fake. You're, 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 you're chasing shadows. That's why you're not completing it. It's not that there's something wrong with you. It's not the thing that you're supposed to be doing, right? But if it is 
of the Father, if it is of your pattern, if it is true for you, what you're supposed to do, God's going to show it to you again. He's going to be like, okay, hey, remember last week when I was telling you about this? Here's a, here's, here's a reminder of it again. Oh, God's doing that to me in my life right now. And I'm watching it unfold. It's the weirdest thing. It's the most fascinating thing. I don't want to talk too much about it. because I want to give away my, my projects, meaning like, uh, 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 like you, I don't want to throw my enthusiasm into it too quickly. I'm just, what I've learned, take your time. I don't even want to talk about it. I'm talking about it to you because this is what we're talking about. But I'm not even going to talk about it. I'm just allowing God to keep showing it to me. And he shows it to me in pieces. Here's the next piece. Here's the next piece. Slowly letting it be revealed. So that's my advice to you. Stop. Stop. Stop taking action. Stop doing projects. Exercise your energy a little bit, but don't be attached to what you're doing because it's probably going to fizzle out. But if it's not meant to fizzle out, God will pour more gasoline on that for you. You don't even have to do it. God's going to be like, hey, remember that? Here's a little bit more gasoline. Okay, cool. All right, I guess I'm supposed to... Mess with this one. Keep, doing, keep building this fire. If you start a little flame and it goes out, and it, you know what? Start, if you start something, then step back so you can see whether or not it can kindle itself or it needs you to stoke it. If it needs you to stoke it, it's, it's fake. You're trying to make it happen. If it can kindle itself, meaning synchronicities happen, more inspiration happens, some uh insight is revealed to you and it seems like whoa like it's just got momentum of its own this thing is just going on its own i'm not doing anything it i'm just following the momentum then you're then just check it out you're not even you say enthusiasm that's true enthusiasm because that's in theos in theos in theos is god that's god literally like saying okay buddy i'm gonna carry you now and you're gonna go down this thing that's how it was when I became YouTube famous. I didn't do anything. <laughs> it, just, it just happened smoothly. Oh, here. Yeah, okay, there's this. All right. Oh, looks like I'm supposed to do this. All right, I'll just keep doing it. I didn't think about it. I didn't plan it. I didn't force it. It just happened. And that's how I know these things can happen for you. So that's it, bro. Don't, don't finish projects that you're not even supposed to be doing to begin with. You say, you know, how to advise you on finishing projects. You start and keep going when things get tough. Um, well, when you're a year, two years, three years into the project and things get tough, that means, oh, you're being tested. If you're a week, two weeks, three weeks, even a couple months into a project, maybe that's just not the project you're supposed to be doing. Are you following me? All right, Michael, I hope that helps. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot Hulse here, and I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent sessions with my King Transformation coaching students, where among many things, we get together about four or five hours a week where we speak on things related to becoming kings in our lives, in fitness, business, and with women. And if you want to join a like-minded group of men that get together every day, to grow stronger in every way during this degenerate age, it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, and then me or one of my teammates will get back to you with the details to see if you qualify to join us. I really hope to see you perhaps at our next live call. Done.